Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted um, to present the predictions for Lucas Ballingall v Billy Pickles tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to run through the, the whole card. So first you've got Robert Lloyd Taylor Jr. making his debut against Stefan Vincent. It's a good 50-50 fight. Robert Taylor had another opponent. For his debut, I do believe this is four rounds. Stefan uh, will be there for the upset. I know he will be. 1-0, good performance last time out against um, Naeem Ali. Um, but yeah, um, not much you can go off Robert Lloyd. I haven't seen him box before. But based on what I've seen off Stefan, I reckon Stefan will beat him 39-38. And then you've got... Jordan Dijon, 8-2, and two, to name a few he's been in there. Harry Scarf, Jack Martin, Ryan Maycock, Ebony Key and Carl Fail, Berman Sanchez on the block, 30 knockout, 30 wins, 47 defeats, 4 draws, 22 knockouts. Um, just to name a few, he's been in there with Carvin Crocker, Mikey Saki, Thomas Galbraith, Dean Gardner, um, Mark Mason Dickinson, Tyrone King, Brian Collins, Taylor Gregg, uh, Marcus Ellison, Castro, Liam Wiseman, Oliver Lawrence, Gideon Jones. Um, yeah, that's the name of you. Very durable. Jordan, very good boxer, very slick boxer. He don't he he can, he can it's see we've seen him fight, but he'll be rooting because he he could have fought uh Saturday just gone, but no he couldn't uh something wrong with the ish, uh, opponent, but he's got an opponent in Baban Sanchez who who will bring the best out of him and uh should be a shutout points win for Jordan Dijon, uh, in my opinion, what should be. Then you've got this is an interesting one four rounds in the light heavyweight division. You've got Navid Iran v Victor Edgar. Victor Edgar will fancy his chances tomorrow night um, as Navid is coming off a back of three knockout defeats. So we will be up for tomorrow night, I reckon Vic Victor Edgar will. But of course, um, uh, he's got the better um, Navid's record. Stephen Timms, knockout for um, Jamie Abil, Alex Spito, Arnold Lefit, Tim Moff. Teth, Ben Thomas, Seamus Devlin, Zahid, Bennett, uh, Lewis Van Pooch, who we lost round four, shoulder injury. Robbie Chapman got the better of him. And so did George O'Leary, which was a body shot. But against Victor Edgar, two wins, one knockout, 82 defeats, only been stopped three times, three draws. Uh, last time out against Alfie Gaskin, we saw... Tommy Johnson, he's been in there with Red Johnson, Connor Lawrence, uh, Marcus Tomlinson, uh, Jay Munn, um, Jordan Dijon, John Joyce, Brad Pauls, Kingsley Ebenike, uh, Dylan Clegg, uh, and Jerome Walt and James Hawley. So decent resume from, of course, he had one for a while, but I reckon Victor Edgar, after watching his last fight, he did well. Uh, he'll be up for trying to beat Navid. Uh, it's over four rounds. I can see this in a proper good fight. I do reckon Navid will get back to winning ways 39 37, but I reckon it will be a very good fight. So I reckon Navid will be, get back to winning ways as, as he should do. But again, I reckon that Edgar will be up for it. Bobby Pryor making his debut over four rounds in the Wellway division against Fonz Alexander. Eight wins, four knockouts, 147 defeats, six defeats by stoppage, one draw, of course. To name a few, Courtney Frimpong, Sajid Abid, Tom James, Ryan Rose, who we did win earlier this year, actually. George Henham, Mikey Broughton, uh, Jimmy Crockon, James Flint, Con Dean, Joe Jenkins, Joe Gartside, Henry Porter, James Flint, twice, Owen Cooper, Dan Booth, Lewis Booth, Liam O'Reilly, Lee, Lee Appleyard, Dom Hunt, Corey O'Regan, 
uh, Luke Wills, Billy Pickles, who's main event, Brian Oliver, Tommy Slitcock, Alfie Price, Tom Tom Ansel, Martin McDonough, uh, Billy Allington. Just everyone you need to know at that weight, really. So, been around the block for ages. But I can see a shout-out points win for Bobby Pryor. And uh, River Boam. Uh, haven't heard much about him, but he's making his debut against Robbie Chapman. On Robbie's Instagram, he's teasing taking his O. So, uh, of course, he Camden Caretaker, 11 wins, 31 defeats, 4 draws. Of course, Dazza Luke, Courtney, um, Linus Udofi and Navid Aran, George O'Leary, Adam Ace, uh, Danny Boyle, Leon Willing, Ziggy McCauley, Ray Bear, Dominic Shepard, Brad Pools, Bradley Spencer, Kieran Thompson, Liam Griffins, just to name a few he's been in there with. But yeah, I can see an upset win, 39-37 to the Camden caretaker. Now Lloyd Farrington v Patrick Polsky. can only see this going one way. Lloyd, I've heard he's been doing really well in the gym. And I'm going to say Lloyd round two, I reckon we'll get one knockout. Ebony Jones, of course, three wins, one draw. Six and eight, well over the cruise. This this could potentially steal the show again. But I reckon it could if Welling wants to turn up and wants to fight. But I reckon Ebony will be too good for her. She'll be in her rhythm. She'll be in her momentum. She last fought in October, was it? Yeah, it was October on the Marshall card. And um, yeah, Ebony Jones, 60-53, I reckon she'll knock her down as well. I reckon it'll be a good performance from Ebony. I know I can see her pushing her on and try fight for titles later this year. Um, I, know I can see her getting into that featherweight mix with the likes of Raven Chap uh, Chapman. Uh, you've got... Yeah, and Karis Orksenstein. You can, I can see big fights with her, with them. Of course, Katie Smith. Debut the Halo Dos Santos. I don't know much about any of these fighters, but I'm just going to go with the home fighters, 60 to 54. Matthew King v. Ben Vaughan. Great fight. Two prospects risking it. That's what we like to see, of course. Matthew King, seven wins, one knockout, two defeats. He lost on his debut to Edward Donovan. Uh, bounced back strong with good wins against Petra Alexandra, Dean Wilkinson, Chisang, Carl Turney, Chris Attaway, Justin Menzi, Charlie Sheldon. Then lost to Constantine Yazoo for the Southern Area, vacant Southern Area, but Constantine is above that level. Matt wasn't at the right weight. Uh, he got stopped in round three, but Tough man, Matt, and he said he was fine to continue. Matt's a good fighter, but you've got Ben, who's unbeaten, who was meant to fight for the Midlands title, but Cooper um, couldn't fight. Um, you've got Gregors, Naeem Ali, Carl Turney, Liam Fox, um, Vallejo, uh over six rounds. This could go either way. I reckon it's going to be 58-56. I reckon the home crowd will... I don't know, Ben Vargan, Slip Boxer, Matt v King trains with Ballingall, McKinson, uh, but Ben trains, yeah. I'm I I want to sit on the fence because I like them both, but if I have to edge it to one, I'll edge it to the home home fighter, home boy. He's got the crowd behind him, and I reckon Matthew Kim will get it over the line, 58, 56. Then you've got Lucas Ballingall. In this is for the English super lightweight title. 16 and 2 v Billy Pickles, 13 and 0. Um, of course, winning it last year against Boyd Jones, I was a quality performance that was won pretty much every round. I had 98 92, which one of the judges did. He's lost to Myron Mills as well. He's been a bit up and down. He, he, he wants to get himself into that TV picture where I, 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 I was interview, I interviewed him when I interviewed him earlier. He wants to get back. He wants to get back on the. He wants to get on that TV, whether it's, well, he's defending his English title. He the winner of this will fight on TV, and I think if, bit um, if Lucas wins this, he'll get his contract with, a big promotion, and following his brother's footsteps. Billy Pickles, oh thirteen and oh one knockout, fought pretty. I was going to say pretty recent, but no, he fought in Feb this year. But yeah, still pretty active. 
picked up Chris Attaway, uh, Dale Arrowsmith and Roston. But yeah, he, he's coming off a knockout win, so he'll bring that momentum. Lucas Ballingall, a bit of a homecoming for him. Um, very good boxer. Billy Pickles coming from Leeds, wanting to bring that belt back to Leeds. He's got an army coming down. Uh, I reckon it'll be battle of the battle crowds as well. They both sell big tickets. But uh, based on what I've watched of both, I reckon Lucas should be too much for Billy. I reckon Billy could will take it all. I reckon it will go all the way. But at the end of the day, I reckon come down to experience with and I reckon Lucas will get the job done on unanimous decision. Let uh, let me know your thoughts. DM me on Instagram and follow me on Instagram at SWS Boxing. And um yeah, let me know your opinions. And um it should be a good show and uh they'll be up on grassroots boxing a few days after. And um yeah always good shows at TM14 and um and if you're down at Portsmouth, make sure you watch a great show. And um, yeah, just enjoy, enjoy the show for anyone who's going. And thanks for watching.